Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Sabbath School. My I'm name. Teacher Robin, and this is J A N spells Jean. Jean, and we miss you guys so much. We're gonna start our beach program this week. You know it's my very favorite program of the year, don't you? Mm -hmm. Let's start Sabbath School with our sticks. Can you find your sticks? My favorite program is the bird program. The bird program. Well, I love the beach program. Let's do our sticks because we're on time for Sabbath School. Here we go. Help me sing, please. <laughs> This is what the clock says, tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says, tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says, tick tock, tick tock. Time for Sabbath school and half past ten o'clock. I think we should sing that one more time. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Move over a little. I don't want you to hit me. Here we go. This is what the clock says, tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says, tick tock, tick tock. This is what the clock says, tick tock, tick tock. Time for Sabbath school at half past ten o'clock. Wow, that was really good. Oh, very good job, boys and girls. And Assistant Jeannie. <laughs> Why don't you grab that little green chair and put it right here? We'll pretend you're one of the children in the class, because you are. It's time for us to play peekaboo. How many of you know how to play peekaboo? I bet all of you do. Can you play peekaboo? Here we go. Ready? Peekaboo, peekaboo, merry children we. Peekaboo, peekaboo, happy as can be. Clapping hands, clapping hands, blowing kisses too. Nodding heads, nodding heads, thanking Jesus too. Very good. Who's happy we came to Sabbath school? Gee, can you go show them who is that? Jesus. Jesus is so happy we're doing Sabbath school today. And who is with us in our homes? Who is with us right now in this room? Angels. Our angels are with us. That's right. Can you go take that over to Papa and come back? And we will have our prayer. Let's get down on our knees. Good job. And then we fold our hands and we close our eyes, and we say after me, and then you repeat after me, okay? Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you for the Sabbath. Thank you for the Sabbath. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our families. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jean. That well, boys and girls, as I told you, today is the beginning of our beach program. And we're going to pretend we're at the ocean. We have our ocean scene and our container with our stuffed animals. And we need to talk about some safety at the beach. What's the first thing we do at home before we even leave the house? What do we put on? Sunscreen. Our sunscreen, that's right. All over your face and your arms and your legs and your shoulders and your chest and your neck. And don't forget your ears. And then when we get to the beach, what do we do first? Do we run right out in the water? Mm. What do we have to look at? The waves. The waves, that's right. Because if the waves are too big, you don't want to go out. It won't be safe. And mom and dad will help you figure out where rip currents are. You don't want to go where there's no white water and it looks very calm. That's danger. Always play where there's lots of white water. Let's pretend we're making waves. Can you do this with Here's your arms? Here's another beach rule. Okay. Never put your back to the waves. That's true. Very good point, Jean. Always keep your eye on the waves. Then you know what's coming. And they're fun to play in, aren't they? Let's make some big waves go forward and then stop and go backward. Ooh, those are tricky hand motions. Here we go, ready? Jesus made those great big waves that crash upon the sand. 
Then he made those great big waves to roll back out again. Jesus made those great big waves that crash upon the sand. Then he made those great big waves to roll back out again. They're very strong to roll back out. They are, you're right. Oh, that was fun. I'm so proud of you. Well, one of the things I love to do at the beach, besides go scuba diving, is take a walk. Oh, we have footprints. Let's all stand up in our homes. And we're going to try and walk in a circle in your house. Even if you don't have footprints, it's okay. Just pretend. Yeah. And we're going to try and walk on every single one. I can't. You can't? My feet stick. Well, just try. It's okay. Let's sing our song. Here we go. Walk, walk, walk. Footprints in the sand. Walk, walk, walk. Over all the land. Walk, walk, walk. Footprints large and small will follow Jesus. Footprints, they're the best of all. Oh, that's so fun. Let's keep walking. Ready? Walk, walk, walk. Footprints in the sand. Walk, walk, walk. <laughs> Over all the land. Walk, walk, walk. Footprints large and small will follow Jesus' footprints. They're the best of all. Excellent, boys and girls. And now if you were here in Cray Roll with me, you would help us pick up all the footprints. There were so you. many creatures here in my lap. Who made all the animals for us? Jesus. Jesus did. That's right. Let's see. What should we start with? This one. What is it? What is that, Jane? I think we have one more guest. Oh, okay, one more guest. At the door, the little one. Oh, you want the little chambered nautilus. Okay, thank you, Jeannie. It, what, what other creature that I love is the chambered nautilus related to? Octopus. Octopus, that's right. But this isn't an octopus. What is it? S-E-A-S-T-A-R. Jeannie, just say the word, please. Sea star. A sea star, that's right. Oh, here's it oral side and this is its aboral side. The food goes in here and the waste comes out here. They're such neat creatures and they crawl along the sand and they find something to eat and they close up like this and then their stomach, their mouth comes out and they eat it. You know their stomach, you know they can push out their stomach? Yes they can. How many legs does this sea star have? One, count with me. One, two, two three, four, five. Five legs, that's right. And there's its tiny little two feet so it can crawl. Sea star. Oh, and here we have my favorite creature in the whole world, besides humans. What is it? It's called the octopus. The octopus. This is a special kind of octopus, isn't it? Do you remember the name? Blue ring. Blue ring octopus. That's right. See the rings? They're very poisonous. I love finding them underwater and they're not this big at all. They're tiny, but they're very poisonous. You just look, you never touch. Oh, octopus are one of the most wonderful creatures. They can change color just like that. If it was on my shirt, it wouldn't be red, yellow, and blue. It would be white and yellow stripes. Just like this, it would look just like this shell. <gasps> so tricky and so intelligent. That's the blue ring octopus. What is this one? It's an octopus also. We're going to sing our welcome song. How many legs does the octopus have? Help me count, Jane. One, one two, two. Three, four, four five, six, six seven, seven, eight legs. Can you grab mom or dad's hand or your brother and sister and we'll shake hands together. How many legs are you going to hold, Jeannie? He's going to hold that one. I'm going to hold this one. Okay, I'm going to hold two. Here we go. Ready? Welcome to Sabbath school. Welcome today. I'll shake your hand and welcome you this way. 
Welcome to Sabra School, welcome today. I'll shake your hand and welcome you this way. Excellent. Wow. Well, now we're going to talk about some shells. I love mollusks. I love how pretty shells are. I do too. I'm going to talk about that one in a minute. Can you, well, this is the same. So you hold this one up and I'll hold mine up. Do yes. they look similar? They do. This is a pretend Triton trumpet. This is the real one. That is the real one. Look how pretty it is. It's very pretty. This one has somebody living in it though. Who's that? <gasps> Hermit crab. So whenever you find a shell, you always look and see if it has an animal still living in it. And it might just be a hermit crab. One time I, Don't take them if someone's living in it. One time I saw a little shell on a rock, a teeny tiny little one. Yes. And uh, I told Mimi if I could take it, but it had a hermit crab. It did have a hermit crab, so we left it. Very good. If you have any shells at home, I know, Will, you have a big horned helmet like mine. You can listen. <gasps> what do you hear? Uh, it sounds like? A trumpet, kind of. A trumpet? Okay. It kind of sounds like the ocean. It's not. It's just your blood going through your ears, but it kind of sounds like the ocean. Here's my horned helmet. This is a male. They have the pokey up horns. The female, it's all smooth, just little bumps. And this is a horned helmet from Hawaii. I found a very, very long time ago in 1971, I think. That's one of my favorite shells. I love this one. Do you? What's that one called? Do you remember? No. What kind of shell is it? A cowrie. I love this cowries. This is a, me too. Remember I loved cowries love, so much. This I is a tiger cowrie. And which kind did you like the most? Do you remember the name? Reticulated. Reticulated cowrie from Hawaii. That's right. Can you hand me the shell basket there? It's really heavy. Be careful. I forgot to pick it up. Jean's going to use two hands. It's very heavy. Move the crab. Okay. <laughs> it's wonderful to have a helper with me. Oh boy. Okay, good job. Bring it here. It's as heavy as a watermelon. Two watermelons. <laughs> two watermelons. That's pretty heavy. Well, we're going to talk about just a couple of shells in here. Some that live here in California. Can you? Let's find a pretty one. Here's my favorite. It's called a reticulated cow. No, that's not a reticulated cow. <laughs> but you can show it to the camera. That's a chestnut cowrie that we have here in California. I still like chestnut cowries. And what's this one that we have here? What's this one called? Abalone. Abalone, that's right. Is this a reticulated cowrie? Those are all chestnut cowries from here. Here is in the auger family. The Terebra. This is from Hawaii. Wow. And this is a rock scallop. And they glue themselves onto the rocks and they have two shells. So that has a special name. When something has two shells, what's it in what family is it in, Jean? Do you remember? Mm. Bivalve. It's in the bivalve family. Okay, sit down. This one you need to know about. This is a, what kind of shell? Cone. Cone shell. It kind of looks shaped like an ice cream cone, isn't it? But you never do this. You never touch down at the little end because that's where their stinger comes out and some of them are very poisonous. This particular kind isn't poisonous to humans, but this one is. It's called a textile cone. Can you carry that like this and show it to the camera? Thank you. So you never ever touch a cone shell. That's danger. What's this big one? It's the, heavy. The Terebra. Let's sing about our shells, shall we? Can you clap your hands? Oh, who can make a seashell? I'm sure I can. Can you? Oh, who can make a seashell? No one but God is true. Very 
good boys and girls. Well, now it's time to start talking about other animals that live in the ocean. And again, who made all the animals for us? Jesus did. That's right. Jean, can you turn a little so the kids can see you? And then just put the animals up like this while we sing. Here we go. The crabs are supposed to go right here. Okay. God sees the little sea life small, they meet his tender view. If God so loved the little things, I'm sure he loves me too. He loves me too, he loves me too, I know he loves me too. If God so loved the sea life small, I know he loves me too. Whoa! We're not done putting on clothes. We're not done yet. Let's talk about some of these and see if we know what they are. What's this? Turtle. How about this? A yellow tang fish. Who's this guy? My favorite, the octopus. And we have pelicans. They live by the ocean. And who's this, Jean? Whale. A whale, that's right. Oh, and even the divers going in the ocean. And we have one more. The shark. For us to find our stuffed that's animals. Cool. I hope you have something at home that's ocean related. We have a lot to choose from. Penguin. I'm going to walk around with my blue ring octopus. I'm going to walk around with my penguin. Your penguin, and you need something big to go with it. How about the porpoise? How about a seahorse? Well, that's a silly seahorse, but okay. Hold them all in your hands. There we go. And I'm going to walk around with an octopus. A trident trumpet, hermit crab, and a sea star. Here we go. Let's make our creatures swim around in the ocean. I have three. Okay. Jesus made the creatures in the sea. Jesus made the creatures in the sea. Creatures in the shallows, creatures in the deep. Jesus made the creatures in the sea. Let's do that again. That's fun. Jesus made the creatures in the sea. Jesus made the creatures in the sea. Creatures in the shallows, creatures in the deep. Jesus made the creatures in the sea. Very good, boys and girls. Let's put our creatures back to sleep. There they what go. What is Jean holding? <gasps> it's Joe. Big Joe the crab. And I have my old one. It's hard. <gasps> Crabs are very cool creatures you can see at the beach in the tide pools. Do crabs go forward and backward when they walk, Jean? No way. How do they walk? Sideways. Hold this down so they can see you. They walk sideways. We're going to hold on, you're going to hold on to the legs of Big Joe on that side, and I'm going to hold on this side, and we're going to start over here, and we're going to go sideways. Ready? Sideways steps. Can you guys stand up at home and help us take sideways steps? Those are tricky. Jean, you look like you're ready to walk forward. You have to stand like me and go sideways. Ready? The crab walks sideways on the beach, on the beach. On the beach, the crab walks sideways on the beach. God made it so. God made it so. God made it so. The crab walks sideways on the beach. God made it so. Whoa, who's tired? Are you all tired now? That makes me tired. Well, here's our little green sea turtle. He has some defenses, and mainly he can just go along underwater and find his food and go munch, munch. You wouldn't want him to munch on you, would you? We're going to talk about our four special turtles, and I hope you're trying to remember the names. This one, I can give you a hint. It's called the... What kind of turtle, Jean? Snapping. The snapping turtle, that's right. That's his defense. He can snap at his enemies. Can you put that on the board? And here we have another one. 
This one digs down in the mud. It's called the... Do you remember what this one's called? Yellow mud turtle. The yellow mud turtle. That's right. His defense is he crawls, climbs way down in the mud and covers himself totally up and nobody can find him. That's his special defense. Let's pretend that the water is the mud. Okay. Here's the, which one? Hinge turtle. The hinge turtle, that's a good nickname. It's the box turtle, but it has special hinges, and so it can totally close up so tight. Can you hold your arms around yourself and squeeze really tight? Hey, tight, 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 tight. Hey. Nobody can hurt him. He's just like a little round rock with his super hard shell. So we have the snapping turtle, the yellow mud turtle, and the box turtle. And the fourth one I want you to try and remember is the biggest one, the giant, what is it, Jean? Galapagos tortoise. The giant Galapagos tortoise. Can hey, everyone... you turn around and look at the camera, please? Thank and you. everyone's going to be scared of him. So he is to... so big, he gets up to 500 pounds. That's a pretty good defense, isn't it? I'll say. Okay, boys and girls, can you find your stuffed turtles or just pretend like this? And we're going to walk slowly back and forth around your rooms. Here we go. Mr. Turtle moves around. See him go. Mr. Turtle moves around. Slow, slow, slow. He's scared. Very good, boys and girls. Oh, let's put our turtles away, Jean. There we go. Who else do we want to talk about that lives in the ocean? Or near the ocean? Oh, near. Who's this? It's a bird. It's a seagull. It's not a seagull. This is a special bird called a... Pelican. Pelican, and he has very good eyesight. And he flies up high over the ocean, and he spies something down in the water, and he dives down deep, and he comes up, and oh, what does he have in his mouth? What is it? A fish, but he's more intelligent. But you know who's more intelligent than it? Who? The osprey. The osprey, okay. It can dive a oh, little... It could dive way faster, and it cannot even make a shadow over the fish. Well, that's a very good hunting And it has little hooks on its he has. feet. Hooks on his feet. You know a lot about the animals, don't you, my friend? My precious girl. Okay, we're going to feed our pelican some fish. We have some fish, and I can't wait till you're here in Sabbath school with us, and you can help us feed the fish, too. So you go and sit over here, Jeannie, so everybody can see you. And put the fish on the board, and the fish will get, and the pelican will get to eat them. Here we go. Hungry Mr. Pelican needs some fish to eat. Let's give Mr. Pelican some fish to eat. Hungry Mr. Pelican needs some fish to eat. Let's give Mr. Pelican some fish to eat. <gasps> he got every single one but one! Oh, I think he's all full now. What do you think? I think so. Oh, who else do we want to talk about? We have one more creature. What is it? It's the daddy seahorse. Jeannie, how do we know it's the daddy? It has the babies. It has the babies. This daddy has how many babies? Let's count. One. Two, three babies. And the seahorse is so sweet, it holds on to things with its tail. And it puts its head forward to eat. And it spits out the sand that it's sucked up. I've seen it doing it. It's very exciting. Let's sing our rock, rock, rock I saw song. that yesterday at the aquarium. That's right. We went to the aquarium yesterday in Long Beach. And it's open again. That's so fun. But the touch tank's my favorite part. So then we just did the waterfall. That's right. Okay, let's sing. Can you help me sing? Rock, rock, rock. Little seahorse rocks to sleep. Rock, rock, rock. Asleep in waters deep. Rock, rock, rock. 
Dear Jesus, watch us thee. For Jesus cares for the seahorse and he cares for me. Well, thank you boys and girls for sharing your Sabbath morning with us. I hope you have a lovely day and a wonderful week. Gee, and I miss you so much and I pray for you every day that you will remain safe and happy and learning. Bye-bye. Can you say goodbye? Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>